In this video, I'm going to show you how you can display a value in your HTML. So we have this R of day variable that we're using to conditionally, you know, add or remove elements from the DOM. But now what if I want to just show the R of day? Let's say I want to have like a message here, which says, uh, say a paragraph tag here, and then the R of the day is, and then I want to show the R of the day here. How do I use, how do I get this value and actually show it in the DOM? I don't want to conditionally show an element. I want to actually show the value of that element, right? How do I do this? The way to do this is, as you can guess, another directive, right? So I'm going to add this directive over here in another paragraph here. Uh, let's say I'm going to add the, the R of day over here, right? I want to show the R of day here. The way to do this is by using a directive in that element called ng-bind, right? ng-bind lets you bind this HTML element to the value of a particular variable or an expression. So in this case, I want to bind this paragraph to the value of R of day. So I'm just going to put R of day here. And then let's refresh this. So you can see the paragraph has the value nine. If I just want to have this inside this paragraph, I can actually move this in then of course I cannot have a paragraph inside a paragraph because they're block elements. So I just change this to a span so that it doesn't go into a new line. So I just change this to span as well. And now it just shows up in the same paragraph. So this ng bind can be applied to any element that can contain content. So here, you know, we tried it on a paragraph, we tried it in a span. You can even put it on a div and whatever is the value is going to be the content of that div. Um, you can also have expressions here and it's going to evaluate it. For some reason, you want to add one to your R of day and display that. Uh, it just adds that and displays it, right? So it evaluates this expression. In this case, this expression is just a variable. So it just shows that variable. Uh, the syntax is something like this. You add ng-bind as an attribute to, a, to an element and then you assign the value, the variable name in the expression. And what Angular is going to do is it's going to take that content. It's going to take the value of that variable. It's obviously going to do a scope dot again. Remember, any variable reference in HTML is automatically a scope dot name. Okay, so it's going to get that username in this case. It's going to get username from the scope object and it's going to put it in the span. All right, so something like this username, if username is the value Kashik. It's going to add Kashik into the H1. Paratext has lorem ipsum text. It's going to add that content into the paragraph. Okay. There is a shorthand for this, which is the double curly braces. Anytime you want to add the value of a variable into the element, you just add the double curly braces, in which case you can put it in any arbitrary location. Here I'm putting it in the span, and this is just the same. As doing an ng bind for that variable. It's exactly the same thing. There is one minor difference, but that shouldn't influence the output when the variable is actually resolved. Here are some expressions, examples. So 22 by 7 actually does 22 by 7. It divides 22 by 7, gets the number, and then shows that in the expression. 1 plus 1 is going to evaluate it and then show the number two. So it does mathematical expressions, evaluations, as well as variable value resolutions, right? That Angular is gonna do that and put that value into the DOM. And again, all these expressions are evaluated against the scope. Just like these three directives we saw refer to the scope, even expressions refer to the scope object. All right, so I'm going to quickly demonstrate the double curly braces and show you an advantage over here. So here I have a span with ng bind as R of day. So instead of doing this ng bind over here, what I'm going to do is just do the double curlies. R of day, right? So it's just going to put this element, uh, this value inside the span because this just happens to be inside the span. If I refresh this, there's not going to be any difference. But the cool thing here is since uh, this format, this double curly format doesn't need an element, you can actually put this in the paragraph directly along with this text. You remember the reason why we did the span was because we had to have an element 
to do the ng bind to it, all right? So if I hadn't done that, let me actually get rid of this. Now let's say in this paragraph, I have r of t is, and then there's nothing here, right? So let's say I did ng bind over here. ng bind equals r of t, all right? Now what will happen? Now Angular would express, uh, would evaluate this ng bind. I would just say, okay, this paragraph needs to contain the value of r of t. So it would just take all this content out and just put the r of t. So you would lose this content, all right? So let me refresh this and I'll show you what I mean. You see that? Angular just replaced the content of this paragraph with whatever you had in ng bind, which was why I had to create another element over here with the span, right? So I had to create a span here, which is, okay, this is what's gonna contain r of t. And uh, you know this is going to be an empty, uh, empty span container because no matter what you put in there, Angular is going to replace that with the R of T value, right? This is why you had to have this HTML element. But now with the double curly braces, I don't have to do this anymore. I can just add the double curly brace here, and then R of T. Now Angular is going to just retain this as is, and it's going to take this value and put it in here directly, right? So if I were to refresh this. So thus, this content remains as is, and Angular is just adding this over here, right? So this is a double curly, it's frequently used because of this very purpose, that you can just arbitrarily put this anywhere and it's just gonna add it uh, to the HTML directly. Uh, the other thing to remember is that this is probably the first um, instance of you seeing an Angular feature, which is not a directive. So far, everything we've seen is a directive, as an HTML, HTML extension, right? ng app, ng init, ng if, ng bind. This is probably the first occurrence of a non-HTML based uh, feature that you get to use in Angular. Just something to note. Uh, this is double curlies. It's very handy when you want to add these kind of arbitrary values.